Hi there, this is Azza. Um, this is just a quick video to show a uh, buddy of mine, uh, Echelon, or his video YouTube channel is Planet Echelon. Uh, you can check him out, I'll link him in the uh, description below. So, he uh, uses uh, the Sony Movie Maker Pro. I don't know what it's called actually, I don't really care. Um, but I um, picked up uh, Adobe Premiere Elements and I've been uh, playing with it over the couple, last couple of days and um, got to the point where I made this little intro um, segment for our BTEC videos. I'll just play it for you now. I'll bring this down for you. That's all. Yeah. So yeah, it's the uh, little video I've made. Um, this bottom video here, the, the main video, that, that'll start at this point here. Um, that, that's when all the uh, see-through parts all start and um, yeah, I'll just uh, go through quickly how that how I did that and, and show Echelon um, Adobe Premiere. Uh, I'll just delete all this. Uh, start from scratch. Already, I've uh, saved the project, but I'll save as a new project just in case. Right, so I've already loaded my uh, project assets here. So these are the video clips, uh, the sound clips, pictures, and the like uh, that I'll be using for this little video. I've got a 10 a image of the BTAC symbol. Now I've got a, another copy of the BTAC symbol I'm going to use as a mask. Um, got a little sample vid here which I'm not going to use. I'm going to use this sample here. Right. So first thing I did uh, was load in uh, this on video 3. Do I want to fix? No. Go away. It's perfect. Um, so that'll go for about five seconds. It's only just a picture, so nothing happens to it. Um, next, I'll load this one in again, but on video two, and bring it in here. You'll see why in a, in a moment. And I'll bring my sample video in here snap to the front edge of uh, that video clip as you can see it's that feature there Premiere Pro uh, first things first what I want to do is have this um, thing here uh, I want the I want a mask oh, we call it a mask that goes in that makes uh, this section of this video clear Alright, so first thing I want to do here is uh, go to effects. Alright, well, sorry about that. Um, okay, just cutting back, I'll just uh, refresh my memory on how I did these things. So here I want to do keying. I want a image map to key. I'm going to place that on this uh, clip here. So settings, I'll go to settings. Ooh, C drive's getting a bit full. Uh, so I want to select an image for my mat. I don't know why I can't select from inside the program, but I know where it is. It's in here, in here, and this one here. Reverse it. I'll go with Luma for now. So now if I come to here. So you can see the uh, my image coming through. If I see that? Indeed. Can make it a little bit bigger. There. 
you got my image coming through the uh, the BTAC uh, words there. BTAC text. Now this is why I overlapped them here. See this? That's a pretty sharp change there. So because they are practically the same image, if I bring this one here, I've got my change my opacity. Start here. Set a keyframe right here for opacity. Go right to the end. Set another keyframe. Come up here, set my opacity to zero. Now what you'll see is when we come through here, that the white gradually fades away. That white fades away into the video and the uh, title sequence continues. Now for, for the um, this one down here uh, on video 2 here that, um, that's another sharp change there I want to um, clean that up a bit so starting from the point where that fully comes in I'm going to where that that video ends because if we start changing this one it, that'll start getting bigger it won't be until this one ends because this one overlaps this one that'll there'll be another sharp change so from here I want to set I want to change my property to motion don't want to change position but I want to change the scale that's up here in the scale here. So I'll set a keyframe for that one. So as it goes along, I want that to move out. So I want to set my capacity, no, sorry, my motion my, for my scale. Scale that right out to the max I can go. So now you can see here. It gets closer. Now for me, that that starts off very sharply. Bang, bang, bang. It's very quick. What I'll do is come to this. Um, Keyframe here, right click, Azir. What I can do with this, so I can flatten out the transition curve. It's not so sudden. that out as far as it'll go I'll do I'll do bring it in closer again what I'll do actually my video clip down here I'll just go up a little bit Cut it and delete all that. Makes it a lot shorter. Right, so we've got the transition into the moving. Coming closer. Right. Now, because I can't zoom all the way through the T. Uh, I need to, so I'll come back a few frames, change my opacity, Set another keyframe there, go to the end of the film, and 
set my opacity to nil. So that gives us watching through here. It's bigger and fades away. That's too soon, so I'll bring that a bit. Gone. Nice little transition there. So, final part um, that I'll do here is uh, for this symbol, I made a um, a uh, what was it? Okay, generate. Found it. Um, so here I'm going to do a lens flare. So I drag the lens flare effect into my video here. Now the very very beginning of the build, uh, video, I don't want it showing at all. But first of all, I need to set exactly where I want the uh, flare to start. So I'm just drop the intensity so I get the pinpoint a lot here. And adjust uh, these values here. Get it exactly where I want. Slide it across. Just start right about there. Right there. That's my starting point. Set of brightness up a little bit. I'll put it out there. Alright, yeah. So for this one, I come into here. Do three. I want to go to lens flare, the lens center. Set a keyframe there. Lens flare, flare brightness. Bring flare brightness right down to zero here. And I'm going to go a couple of frames forward. Another keyframe for brightness. Connection lost. I said keyframe there, that's my starting point, so it's zero. Go the next frame across, I'll bring up the flare brightness here. That way it doesn't try and start it right from the beginning of the video. Bring up to 44%. At the same point, I'll flick. Change this back to lens flare, lens center. Set another keyframe. So it's now my starting point for my lens center. My, sorry, flare center. Uh, towards the end, just before it transitions into the next one. That's where I want, I'll change back to lens flare brightness. Go back a frame. Keyframe there, next frame, make it two frames, and we want our brightness back down to zero. And we change back into lens flare, lens flare position center. And now we want Go back two frames. Lens position center. Should have changed that. Uh, we'll bring that right to tip. Tip there. Uh, 
No worries. It's gone, gone. All right, let's look at that in more detail. Let's flag goes up. Move into a movie. Okay. And we're done. And that's how I uh, made those in Adobe Premiere Elements. And last but not least, um, I need my musical score. Like that beginning. I find the point where the audio for the actual video starts coming in. You want to come to a bit. Come to about there. One second from there. It's four seconds, eleven frames. I want five seconds and Audio track, delete the last parts, play drop zone on audio there. That's all we need. Enter intro video. Bring that out a little bit further. Done. Thank you very much.